part two. Okay, so let's forget that I am telling you how I do it. And let's start the real deal. So I take, I take PEG MGF for seven weeks, 400 micrograms during workout and after workout. I do that because I'll have better effects from PEG MGF because it lasts hours and it doesn't last three to seven minutes in the area. Now, when I don't find the peptide, then I'll use only MGF and I'll use it within the workout on my last set or my last four sets, which I know I'm gonna be using it to create more and it's gonna stay that way. So that means I retain the muscle, I'm using and absorbing it properly, perfectly, and I'm getting the best results out of your buck, out of the compound. compound. So I reconstituted with l carnitin yeah. You guys wanna know why? It's freaking easy, man. So check it out. Peg MGF lasts, lasts more hours. But we're using L-carnitin as an ester route. So you know that L-carnitin lasts 24 hours in the body? So basically every gram, the lifespan makes it 24 hours. And I want freaking 24 hours of that freaking compound in my freaking flesh, freaking muscle, just tearing the freaking hell and just giving it all I got to create everything so I could get the perfect look in the physique. So that's why I'm using L-carnitin. I'm using it because I am making it the ester of the peptide itself, and that is possible. I'll explain why. Now, L-carnitin lasts 24 hours in the system, and not only will it allow you to resensitize each time, but it works like an ester, like I said, for peptides using critical analysis, critical thinking, and logic reasoning. Now, by experimenting with it and true data, like from my perspective and the people I trained, I saw that in humans from 70% to 30% of females, results were just incredible. Why men so much? Why females less? Females like to pin less. Males don't give up. They'll pin whatever they want, whenever they want, and if they have a goal, they're gonna go further. Females is just, they're used to like one time or whatever, and it's a different protocol type when you're talking about females in bodybuilding unless they're going hardcore. So, I can only find MGF. If I could only find MGF, I do the same to elevate the time frame. It's in my, in my system. So, by getting the effect of L-carnitin, the L-carnitin is working all over my body, but we said that MGF works local, right? So, what I'm doing is I'm making that L-carnitin MGF alone, if that's the only one I got, I know it's gonna last me three or seven minutes. I'm making it last for 24 hours instead of three to seven minutes. And this is possible, because I already did it. I experimented with the PEG version and I experimented with the other one. So by putting PEG MGF with l it was amazing, incredible results, probably last like almost 30 hours or more. With the peg alone, it lasts like 24 hours. And on both cycles I did, of eight weeks, seven weeks, I saw crazy results. I saw amazing results in my triceps, biceps, quads, back. The back was incredible. Like, I, I was in shock. Even my chest, because my freaking soft area that I could not train properly because I was just housebound over here and you know, building the proper gym equipment, everything. Just doing it with dumbbells was chess. And the most I could go at just putting some crazy weight was like maybe 250, 275 pounds chest. 
and using the wrong um, you know stance and everything so I made it work anyway the thing is that in the system it lasts for 24 hours so I feel it for about 6 to 11 hours when I use the MGF alone with the L carnitin but when I use the peg with uh, with the MGF I felt its effects for like 32 hours and this is real this is what I put in my notes and I'm going back and forth the notes what I'm in my research and that's what I put down it's like and that entire seven weeks I, I found out six to 11 hours when I was using the MGF and I found out that I, I felt the peg MGF last 32 hours by adding L-carnitin to it. After the six weeks or eight weeks on peg MGF or peg or MGF alone, I use peg MGF with IGF-1 LR3. So for four weeks, and let me tell you that, that was like, that was magical. When I added the freaking IGF-1 LR3, Bro, the freaking results were just incredible. It was so freaking amazing. So, synergistically, they work amazing if it's done this way. Because PEG MGF with the IGF-1 LR3 just made it so much more intense in gains and strength and just the time frame, it was still itchy there and it was still like ripping and like, I just felt the pump for like hours at a time. It was, it was so incredible. Like if you guys try this, it's amazing. Now I got a protocol for it. I'll tell you in a second. Now, I not only elevate the effects, the time and the muscle growth, but the energy, the lifts, the strength, the pump were super, super extra human level like you would be so surprised like if you went that day you would lift like almost 25 more pounds like it was like this is a pr so i'm reaching prs every time i'm on this this is crazy and the more i used the more i was when i included it within my workout routine it was just incredible the way I did it. So I'll go over it. Give me a second. So basically, one bile a day. I was using one bile a day, two doses divided equally for both. And then on IGF-1, I was using the two M uh, MGs. So one bile a day, two doses. And that would be amazing. On human growth hormone, vial of 10 IUs, I would use two IUs before workout while you're about to eat. And two IUs of human growth hormone before bed. So that would be one IU in each muscle. Exactly how I was doing it with PEG MGF. Look, my conclusion is that Standard MGF is very difficult, very difficult to control and often handled to obtain benefits due to its window of acceptance of administration. So it's better to use PEG MGF using my protocol for bodybuilding because you'll get better results in a professional level. And if you're a IFBB pro, watching this or going into the IFBB pro game, you should be really aware of listening to this because it's going to save you time. It can make the difference whether you win or lose a competition because sometimes we're transforming that body in three hours. And if that's how we got at your second look, at your second shot, that means we're going to add these motherfuckers over here and we're going to make some shit happen. So, now, P-E-G, PEG, it's just polythylene glycol. So, polythylene glycol, that's how it is. 
and it increases the half-life. Scientifically proven. It's scientifically proven. That's all that PEG is. So polythylene glycol increases the half-life, scientifically proven. And L-carnitine is scientifically proven a much, much better route and alternative as an ester, if you look at it that way. So you could actually use this and just reconstitute it with L-carnitin and you're going to have amazing results. And I've done some protocols with L-carnitin with other um, peptides and it works even, it's amazing. It's freaking incredible. So this, this could be the new thing. And you guys are, you guys cannot be closed out to the same bull crap that you've been doing. And if you're not seeing results, you're staying lean and you're not gaining muscle, this is something that you could want, you want to add to your regimen because it's going to be incredible for your life. It's going to change it all. It's going to change it all. Now, both, both of them are non-toxic. That's a crazy thing. And represent no damage at all. No damage at all to the hormone or body structure of the MGF peptide itself so if scientifically and this is no google bullcrap this is like real science books this is like real medical terminology this is like real underground you're going deep searching for all this stuff i don't google this shit. this is amazing and it's just incredible the way that you could just read a book and you're not satisfied and you just go deeper, hunting, and you're like, nah, man, that's not enough. Let me do my own research study with my clients, with myself. That's what I did. And I found out some other ways with experiences from other people, and I put them all together. And I'm like, this is the best way I could actually do it. Why? Because I'm not just lollygagging and getting all the information from just one place and it's just, just so incredible to come up with my freaking protocol for this so remember let's go over it the main thing finally most gains are made and seen completely in enhancing the protocols that you build for your physique with the use of anabolic steroids. So my study was made in a cycle with anabolic steroids. So the better the results that you want to see, you have to include these anabolic steroids. And let's go over the protocol really quick. Again, it's freaking amazing. So, you're gonna do how much? Okay, so I take PEG MGF for seven weeks, 400 micrograms during the workout and after the workout. A total of 400 micrograms that means you divide them 200 and 200 and you pin 200 there and 200 there if you're doing biceps or you pin them right here you pin but it has to be equal amount divided in both sides I reconstitute it with L-carnitin because the L-carnitin lasts 24 hours and I wanted you guys to know it because it's amazing now I use it as an ester. That's why I use the L-carnitin. Why? Because I experimented with it and it's amazing. I can only find myself using MGF if I don't find the PEG version. Because MGF lasts a little bit less adding L-carnitin, which is 6 to 11 hours on my research. Not six minutes or three to six minutes, which is intended. It's real, like that's what 
That's what you're going to find if you look up in the media. Now, I feel its effects last 32 hours when it's pegged MGF with L-carnitin, which is amazing. And finally, after the six weeks or eight weeks that you're on PEG MGF or MGF alone, my protocol, I use PEG MGF with IGF-1 LR3 for four weeks. So the L-carnitin is already resensitizing everything for me. And since they find each other, for me, they work better. And for my clients, they always work better than when they're just using one or the other. But I add PEG MGF when I'm using the IGF-1 LR3 because I want the PEG MGF to be recognized when I stop the IGF and when I start the MGF by itself. So by having a little bit of L, uh, IGF-1 over here, when I come off, I'm allowing it to, you know, to still find it and say, hey, you guys could work together. And that's how you confuse the body. That's how you really do it. So what happens? Magic happens. Muscles happen. Look at that. See that shit? That's real. <laughs> yeah. So you guys could see freaking crazy cuts. So whatever you're working out, you want that shit to like blow up and be amazing. Use it right. Don't use it like you've been taught the entire time. You got to find your own ways to understand the compounds and realize that everything that you've ever been taught in bodybuilding is just probably something that was written down to control you. You got to be able to bend the rules, find the freaking correct ways by yourself using your brain. And this is the correct way, doing your own research. And by doing your own research, I don't mean go Google it or go into the internet and try to find out like the shit. Use the compound and see how it works for you. So that's it, my friends of freedom. And just keep grinding hard. Don't give up on your dreams. Everything is possible. Just, I love bodybuilding. You guys know I'm out.